Hello and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey, and if you've ever wanted to make an RPG game, then here's your chance. You can get some awesome characters, some awesome enemies, get a bunch of gorgeous environments with some trees, rocks and grass, get some really nice castles, some gorgeous clouds, houses and weapons, as well as music and sound effects. And of course, a bunch of tools to help you, like the extremely capable RPG Builder, which lets you easily make an RPG with characters, factions, enemies, loot, quests, crafting and so on. Another awesome tool for making some nice smooth shapes that you can then use for anything. Do some level design very easily, make some node-based tools, get a better console, and even the awesome Odin Inspector, which by itself is already worth it. So all of that is some really awesome stuff, and all of it you can get for just 25 bucks. In total, everything is worth over $2,000, so it's a massive 98% discount. If just a single one of these looks interesting to you, then the whole thing is an excellent deal. I've certainly picked it up myself right away. This is a pretty quick deal, and it's in only a few days, so if you're interested, definitely get it quickly. The link in the description is an affiliate link, so if you use it, it's the same price to you, and you'll also be supporting the channel. And of course, with this being a humble bundle, some of the proceeds also go towards charity, and they picked some very important ones, so that's always a nice bonus. Let's inspect some of these assets to see what they do and what they look like. There are some tricky things with some of these regarding URP, so make sure you watch this whole video to learn more. Oh, and one more thing, I think the voucher issue has already been fixed, but if not, if you don't see the assets in your My Assets list, just go into your Unity ID and select your organization, then you can manually assign seeds for each asset. Also, there's timestamps in the video if you want to skip ahead to a particular asset or tool. Okay, so the main one is of course the RPG Builder. It's a massive tool for letting you easily build out just about anything you could possibly need in making an RPG. The usual price is $180, so that's why I said if just a single one of these looks interesting, then the whole bundle is worth it. It really has all of the features you can think of, so you can make some characters, factions, items, loot drafts, crafting, enemies, quests, and tons more. This is a pretty complex tool, but they do have some very good, very detailed documentation with tons of tutorial videos. So make sure you watch that in order to learn how to use it. Here, let's try out the demo scene. First up, you start off on the main menu and you have the ability to make a new character or continue. So it already has a save and load system. When you make a new character, up here you can select the various races. So by default, there's only human. Then you've got a bunch of stats and some points that you can add. You also have a bunch of interesting game modifiers. So tons of interesting systems. Then you type in your name, select your gender and hit on create. And you see the loading screen also has a nice image, shows the progress on the bottom and so on. And then, yep, here's the demo with some really simple, nice controls. The developer is very active on Discord, so if you have any issues, just go there and ask any questions. Then, yep, here is the demo. So I got my character that I can move around, I can jump. Then you've got a skill hotbar at the bottom with all kinds of abilities. So I can do a real nice fireball, another one that is a frostbolt. I can even spawn a companion. Then over here is an NPC I can approach, I can talk to him. There's a nice dialogue system, so ask something, says something. There's also a really nice sprint, so it zooms the camera and makes the character go faster. Pretty nice. Then all kinds of weapons here, so just approach, look at the weapon, pick it up. And now I can open up the character window as well as the inventory. And with some basic drag and drop, I can simply equip the weapon. There it is, also a really nice tooltip. So with my staff, I know I have a basic attack that I can use. Over here is a table for doing some alchemy, so mix up a bunch of recipes and get a bunch of items. Then this NPC here with the exclamation point, so he's got a quest for me, so I can see, see all the quests, accept it, see what I have to do, any rewards, and so on. Then up here some dummy just to test out all the skills, all the things, and everything. There's also a nice working minimap up there on the corner. There's also resources scattered throughout the world, so there's a nice system for approaching resources and simply gathering them. Then you can go into combat, and the enemies have got some nice AI. I can also apply all kinds of debuffs to them, so that one is now frozen. When the enemies die, they obviously drop some loot. And then there's also some resources that you can simply mine. So just on this demo, you can already see just how capable this is, just how many features it has. By the way, if you find the video helpful, please hit the like button. It's a tiny thing, but it really does help. Thanks. Now in the editor, the main window is up here on Blink. Open up the RPG Builder. Now one quick note here. Normally I use Unity on the light skin, but it doesn't work very well with this window. So all the text over there is in black, so I can't really read it. There is an option to change it from dark mode into light, but it still causes all kinds of issues. So for example, as you browse around, there are some buttons that have a black background. So this tool is really meant to be used in dark mode. And also another note, which is over here, I'm using the built-in render pipeline. 
Now, this is a tool, so render pipelines aren't really relevant for the tool itself, just for the include demo. Some of the materials used in this demo, they can be upgraded automatically, but some cannot because they use some custom shaders. So do keep that in mind, that you can definitely use the tool using anything since it's just a tool, but when you want to try out the demo, make sure you're using the built-in render pipeline just to make things easier. Okay, so on this window, you can build out everything. You can click up here on the icon to see the main menu and see each individual menu. So for example, if you go into combat and you click here and go and see all of the various things. So for example, how would you make a new enemy? Well, you'd go into combat and over here into NPCs. And then on these buttons here, you can either create a brand new one completely from scratch, or you can just go to one of these preset ones, let's say the skeleton soldier, and just hit on duplicate. And there you go, it creates a new copy. And now you've got all kinds of things that you can change. So you can give it a completely different name. You can give it a different icon. And over here, you've got the prefab setup. So this is what will actually have the visual for your new enemy. Then you've got the avatar, the animated controller, and so on. Then under combat, you can define all kinds of factions. So what faction does this enemy belong to? You define all kinds of abilities, aggro links, respawn, and over here the loot table. So what does it drop? A bunch of stats, movement, and so on. So as you can see, tons of things you can play around with to make each enemy really unique. Just one thing, which is when you make some changes, make sure you head on save. So as you can see, this tool is super easy to use. And over here, you've got all kinds of things that you can do. So for example, abilities, make a bunch more abilities, change these around. Then over here for the faction, so add some more, change how they interact with each other. So for example, humans are hated by the animals, but they are neutral against critters. Then in the main menu, you can go and change all kinds of world settings. So for example, over here on the quests, change all kinds of quests that you have. Define some tasks to be done, some resource nodes, set up some dialogue, which by itself already has a real nice dialogue window. So again, just click and drag and you can make all kinds of interactions. So as you can see, pretty much every single RPG element that you can think of, this tool can definitely do it. And one of the main selling points is you can do all of this without having to write a single line of code. Now for me, I love programming, so that doesn't really appeal to me, but I could definitely see this as being super useful for very quickly making a prototype and testing out some specific idea. So that's the RPG Builder. If you take the time to learn this tool, it can be massively useful. Then for some assets, here's a pack with a bunch of characters, all of them with a bunch of animations included. So one of these could be your player or maybe your enemies. Here I've got the pack imported into my project. Now as usual, it starts off working with the built-in render pipeline. So right now I'm using URP. So for this pack, you can run the automatic updater. So just go here, update the project materials. And now some of these update automatically and some do not. Now the reason is because they are using some kind of legacy shader that does not automatically get converted. So it's using the standard double-sided, which for some reason apparently URP doesn't know how to upgrade that one. But this is an easy fix. You can just manually change into the standard shader, do it for all of these ones. So just put them all on the standard and now run the upgrade again. And there you go, now all the characters. So here you can see a bunch of great looking characters and all of them got some nice animations as well as a bunch of nice weapons. All right, so these look pretty great. Now there is another pack with just one very high end character, also with animations. Now this one, the demo is actually made to work with AGRP. So on the console, you might see a bunch of errors. But if you're using URP, those shaders are also included. All you have to do is manually change them. So we'll go through all the materials. And then up here, instead of using the clothing shader HDRP, just go into the same one, so the Dawn shader URP, and then up here, replace for the URP. So just apply that and manually change all the shaders for the URP version. So just change them all. And also this scene, since it's made to work with HDRP, all of the lights are very intense. So you can just disable these lights and on directional light, set it to much less. And yep, so here is the demo with the fully working character. So as you can see, this one, the demo contains a bunch of cloth, a bunch of animations, so everything looks pretty nice. So a bunch of enemies, both with a staff as well as a bow, and then all kinds of variations that you can apply to this character. So again, also a great looking high-end character. For some more tools, another excellent one that is also included is the Odin Inspector. Now, I actually did a full review on the Odin Inspector quite a while ago. Go check out that video if you want to learn some more about it. Essentially, it's a tool for helping you make your own tools, which can then help you be massively more efficient as you're making your game. It's absolutely excellent and super easy to use. So again, I think the whole bundle is worth it just for that one. So if you don't have it yet, then this is the best opportunity to get it. Again, go check out my review video to learn some more. And then that video also includes a quick getting start guide so you can see just how easy it is to use. 
For some environment, there's a bunch of interesting ones. So there's these modular houses. They work great with URP without any issues. Here is the demo scene with all kinds of houses. All of them look pretty great, and they're all made up of individual modular pieces. And the demo scene also has a real nice background, so all those mountains look really cool. So this would be a great starting environment for any kind of game you want to try out. And since this whole thing is made up of modular pieces, for example, a while ago I covered a house building system, so you can download the project files for that video and use them with these modular pieces. So just grab one of these walls, make them into objects, and then build your own houses. Another great environment is the Mountain Trees pack. This one supports all of the render pipelines. So inside the asset, you've got the various Unity packages for AGRP or URP. And yep, this one has some really good looking trees. So some with a bunch of snow, some really with tons of snow, and some of them that look pretty normal. And as you can see, the trees themselves look very, very good. And of course, they also have a wind shader, so there's a nice way to them. So if you have an RPG game idea that takes place in a forest, then this one would be a great starting asset. Or maybe if your game idea involves a castle, this pack is awesome. Also supports URP. This one looks really great, really awesome, and there's tons and tons of assets, all of them really high quality. So you can browse around, see you've got a bunch of insides, a bunch of outside scenes, all of them looking really great. So yep, this is another awesome pack, so you can see just how big it is, just how many things it contains, really awesome. And once again, this demo scene would be awesome just to import it, and there you go, you've got a real nice environment to test out your next game idea. Another interesting tool is Dream Tech Splines, so it lets you very easily create all kinds of splines. Now if you don't know about splines or Bezier curves, I actually cover them in detail in another video. They are super useful, and what I covered in that video is really just the basics. So what this asset does is it takes that and it builds upon it. So whenever you need to design some path for something, like maybe the trajectory of a ball or maybe the path for the camera to follow, in those cases, splines are insanely useful. And of course, if you want to dynamically generate some meshes like some curved roads, well, splines are perfect for just that. There's also tons of UI elements with this pack. It's got all kinds of different buttons, a bunch of sliders, a bunch of toggles. Then you also have all kinds of frames with some really good art, a bunch of icons, some more sliders, health bars, a joystick, then tons and tons of icons, a demo for a main menu, a demo for a downloading scene, and so on. Also included in the bundle is a cloud system, works on all of the render pipelines. It can make some really good looking clouds, and they are also very performant. So that's already tons of stuff, but there's quite a lot more in the bundle. For example, you've got a pack for some mobile tools, so this one helps you integrate some ads, achievements, leaderboards, and so on. There's also a bunch of them with some sound effects. So a fantasy ambient sound effect pack. And up here another one with some fantasy sounds. There's also another RPG builder here. I haven't tried this one yet, but also looks very capable. You've got a bunch more environments, a bunch of low poly tools, so this bundle is excellent. There's also a more advanced console, a grass shader, a bunch of visual tools, and also a bunch of games for you to play. So yeah, that's tons of awesome stuff you can get for a very low price. Like I said, if just a single one of these looks interesting, then the home bundle is worth it. Personally, I would say if you don't have Odin yet, then definitely get it just for that one. I made a full review video with a getting started guide so you can see exactly what that asset can do and just how much it can help you. This is also a pretty quick deal, ends in only a few days, so if you're interested, definitely go ahead and get it now. Alright, hope that's useful, check out these videos to learn some more. Thanks to these awesome Patreon supporters for making these videos possible. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.